Hello friends, welcome to Inside Cycling Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic that is Supreme Court on Water Verifiable Paper Audit Trial. So this is the topic name and the video components includes first we will try to understand the context then what is this VVPAT stands for and then we will discuss about how at the moment VVPAT is using for the verification purpose then we will discuss about the significance of VVPAT steps taken by the Supreme Court and ECI with respect to the VVPAT then challenges involved in the VVPAT and finally we will discuss the way forward. So this is regarding the VVPAT. First try to understand how the VVPAT looks alike and before that syllabus mapping is this particular topic is related to gender studies paper 2 governance and elections. So here VVPAT exactly it looks like this okay VVPAT is a machine which is attached to the EVM okay this is only related to EVM not related to ballot box to this EVM normally VVPAT will be attached and this consists of a box as well as a display. So now remember and the VVPAT what is VVPAT? VVPAT stands for water verifiable paper audit trial of course we will come back to this again first we will try to understand the context of this video. In this video recently Supreme Court sought the response from both parties that is election commission of India as well as the union government regarding a plea which is seeking the comprehensive count of VVPAT slips that means 100 percentage matching the tally of the VVPAT and EVM that is the case is all about. The case name is Association of Democratic Reforms versus Election Commission of India. This is the case name. I will explain what is this exact context is. First we will try to understand v about VVPAT in somewhat more details. VVPAT it comes with a printer that gives a record of the voter selection it display that you know like the candidate name as well as the serial name as well as the symbol of the candidate so that voter will get a chance to verify whether their their vote is casted in a proper way or not so that is how it will be helpful so vvpat paper roll is designed for printing around 1500 ballot slip for each election okay this is the machine capacity and the display time is around 7 seconds for 7 seconds the, the display will be available after that the slip will cut off and it will you know like uh, fall into this box and those slips will not be given to the order those slips can be accessed by only the election staff. So this is regarding some brief info regarding the VVPAT. Now exactly what is this case is all about? So this case is all about first we have to understand EVM, EVMs are attached to VVPAT. Okay, this is the point. Normally, Election Commission of India, Election Commission of India, they use EVMs for counting purpose. Okay, they use EVM for counting purpose, and they randomly select VVPAT. Randomly, they select. Okay, randomly they select around five VVPATs, five VVPATs in one assembly constituency, one assembly constituency or if parliament elections are going on it will be the one parliament constituency whichever appropriate. So five random VVPATs will get selected and this five random VVPAT there that, 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 that uh, the slips will be counted and they will be tallied with those respective EVMs. Okay. Now this petition is all about now the petition is uh, about rather than selecting five random VVPAT and matching the tally with the respective EVMs rather than that. So it is better to do 100% tallying of 100% tallying of both VVPAT and EVMs. So this is the the plea is all about this is the case is about regarding this. Now the Supreme Court sought the response from Union Government as well as the Election Commission of India. So this is the crux of this entire discussion. So here first we have to understand why we introduce the concept of VVPAT of course to improve the efficiency in the democracy okay, and to give more confidence to the voters that their vote is casted in a right manner. We all know that in a democracy elections plays very important role through elections only people will get a chance to elect their representatives. Here you have to know election commission of India okay, 
election of commission of india conducts elections to various various you know like democratic institutions president vice president lok sabha rajya sabha assembly assembly and council all these elections are conducted by election commission of india okay as they are conducting elections to these particular institutions they will try to you know like uh, improve as transparency as possible as a part of that this vvpats were introduced now let's see further information regarding this particular news and tell me students with respect to president and vice president what kind of principle we used what kind of principle we used in this election whether we will use territorial constituency plus first past the post or do we use the proportional representation with single transferable vote which principle we use in this particular election okay now let's see regarding the vvpat first time vvpat introduced in india in lok sabha 2014 lok sabha elections and they were introduced in experimental manner and this vvpat includes two parts the first one is regarding the printer and the second one is regarding the status display unit this display unit will displays the candidate name and serial number and the symbol related to that candidate and this vvpat machine it will be attached to the evm and it will allow the voter to verify their votes are casted in their intended way or not and when the vote is cast obviously the slip the print contains the serial number name and the symbol of the candidate and it remain exposed through the transparent window for how many seconds 7 seconds of course this particular petition is also asking that to improve the transparency of this class as well as try to improve the you know like uh, light for more than 7 seconds so that the light duration if it is increased for little bit longer voter can uh, you know like uh, voter can see it very easily that is the idea once after the 7 seconds the slip automatically gets cut away and falls into the sealed drop box of the vvpat that can be accessed only by the electoral staff the results of the evms generally verified using the slips that can be tallied but all the vvpat votes will be not counted vvpat boxes can be accessed only through polling officials not by the voters tell me reasons tell me the reasons why voters are not allowed to access this vvpat slips what might be the reason okay why the election commission of india not giving the slips to voters if the slips given to voters what would be the consequences okay answer that these paper slips they are deemed to be more authoritative compared to evms this is very very important in case if there is a discrepancy in counting between the evm as well as the vvpat and the final count will be taken according to the vvpat slips tally rather than the evm so that means we will give more authenticity to vvpat slips rather than the evm only in exceptional circumstances election commission of india orders counting of respective vvpat slips related to all the evms especially when there is a allegations of fraud or when there is a result with a very close numbers okay with uh, that means when there is a very narrow margin between the run i mean winning as well as the runner up candidate eci is the final authority regarding the vvpat votes verification at the moment with respect to each assembly constituency and parliamentary constituency around 5 vvpats they are randomly selected and they are tallying that vvpat with evms here we have to understand that vvpat as well as the evm they are not connected to any network and this vvpats are manufactured and developed by ecil as well as the bharat electronics limited significance this vvpat helps to voters to verify their votes as casted as they intended it prevents the discrepancy as well as manipulation in the evms it helps in the auditing of the slips with the evms and it helps in the cross checking of the votes in case any disputes it also prevents the you know like changing or destroying votes by manipulating the evms finally it improves the voters confidence and trust steps taken with respect to evms by election commission of india eci has procured more than 16 lakhs vvpo demission by spending around 3000 crores and they are conducted extensive training awareness program for polling officials 
security personnel, political parties and candidates and voters. So it is a very huge exp expense, extensive process as well as the expensive process. Of course, for democracy, these kind of things needed to be there. Then only our democracy can be more matured and that gives more confidence to the voters. So we can request the voters to come out and uh, cast their vote. Okay. The ECA has introduced randomization process. That means no one knows which EVM and which VVPAT machines are going to which polling station. So that there is a very minimum chance that EVMs tampering or VVPAT manipulation. It cannot be possible. ECA has mandated that at least one polling station in each assembly constituency will be randomly se selected. It will be it was increased to five. And ECA also developed technical protocol for counting a VVPAT, how to count the VVPAT slips. Challenges, of course, nothing is perfect. The challenges in the VVPAT are sometimes they are experiencing the technical glitch, malfunctioning, jamming, or printing errors, power fluctuations, and they require more maintenance compared to the EVMs. And VVPAT machines, they are increasing the time and complexity of the voting process and they may not fully effective in ensuring the voter verification because we are using only 5 random VVPAT rather than 100% tally which is demanding in this particular petition. VVPAT may not be sufficient to resolve all the disputes or doubts regarding the election results as the counting of the paper slips is limited to only few polling stations. Of course, still long way to go and still we require some measurements in the election process. What is the way forward? ECA should ensure the adequate testing, quality control, calibration of the VVPAT both before election as well as the after elections. They have to check whether the standards are matching both before as well as the after election. That will eliminate any doubts regarding the tampering of the VVPATs. The ECA should increase the random sampling and this petition is requesting that should be the 100 percentage tallying of the VVPAT as well as the EVMs. Yesterday's video question. Consider the following statement regarding the Pinaka rocket system. It is beyond visual range air to air missile system. No, it is a ground to air. It has been developed by Dassault Aviation France. Okay, which one is the correct? Only second one is the right. Next, today's MCQ question. With reference to the VVPAT, consider the following statement. It is an independent system attached to an EVM that allows the voter to verify that their votes are cast as intended. Second statement, in case of a discrepancy between the electronic result as well as the VVPAT paper slips, the election commission decision takes precedence. Third one, the India was the first country to implement the VVPAT system. Which one is the right one? Main's question, what are the challenges in the debate on electoral reform in India and how can the electoral system be adapted to enhance the transparency and public trust? This is the main's question. As we reach to the end of this video, in this particular video, we mainly discussed about Supreme Court directions to ECA and Union government regarding the 100% tallying request of both VVPAT and EVMs. We discussed about what is VVPAT and the components of the VVPAT and the significance of the VVPAT as well and challenges involved in the VVPAT. So this is the detailed analysis regarding the VVPAT and EVMs 100% tally. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.